Some things are inevitable. Thanos and Akali changes every two patches are two good examples. So yesterday on the PBE Akali received pretty much yet another mini rework and all of her abilities got changed a little bit. And of course more mechanics got removed. Look at her patch history, every patch she's like a different champion. But a skin is coming soon for her, so they need to buff her again. As you know, I'm the best Akali player in my house ever since season 1. I didn't play with her much ever since the previous Q energy nerf, but I still got a nice win rate and duels win rate, even though I still don't farm. But like I always say, I farm kills, not minions. So what are the goddamn changes this time you may ask? Well, let's get to it. We'll compare them as well, KDA All Out is currently how she is on the live servers and KDA Prestige Edition is on the PvE for clarity. First, her base HP got lowered from 575 to 500, getting closer and closer to a minion. Then her passive, removed mechanic number 1, no longer restores energy. Also they added black separation bars to easier see how much energy you have, like you have with mana. But to compensate this, the energy cost of Q got changed again. It's bigger at level 1 from 120 to 130, but it drops from rank 3 and at rank 5 it's 70, which is pretty good, it's 10 energy lower than how she was before the previous nerf last month. But removed mechanic number 2, no longer deals extra damage to minions and monster at max rank. The W change is pretty cool, instead of just restoring 80 energy, her max energy is also increased by 80 while the shroud is active, so going up to 280. And you don't even need to be inside it for this to work. This is nice if you have to engage with W, so you don't waste the energy restoration if you already were at max energy. For the damage scaling got changed all around, making it lower on E1, but bigger on E2. And for the ultimate, R1 got buffed quite a lot, base damage increased, has a 30% AP ratio now, and it's magic instead of physical damage as well. That's about it, those may not be final, they could play around with it more until it hits live servers, and I don't know if they will hit live servers this patch for sure, but we'll see next week. Here are also some combo demonstrations at max level and with items. She's pretty damn cool, you can do quite a lot now with that uh, increased energy from the W and the reduction on the Q. You can trigger a lot of passives, which is pretty awesome, I think she's feeling pretty damn fun. Mostly because of that increase in energy from the W and the reduction of the Q. Because that nerf reduced her from 46 to 43% win rate, I think, in the last nerf. And that's about it for now, leave a like and subscribe if you are new here so I can cosplay KDA Akali at 100,000 subs like I promised, and give me all your money by pressing that join button because YouTube will now tax non-US creators in the US as well for no reason. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.